Peace and blessings kings and queens and welcome back to my channel. I first want to thank you for clicking on the video because you didn't have to, but I am so glad that you did. Um, so like the title says of this video, I quit my job um, after only being there for a week. And now let me explain. Um, you ever apply, applied for multiple jobs? Um, you applied for you know one that you really really wanted but just to be on the safe side you apply for different jobs you know multiple jobs well I did that as for as long as I can remember I have always wanted to work for the school system um, and this was back when I was in Maryland after I had my son I always knew that I wanted to work for the school system to be able to have all the holidays off with him and also to have my summers off but for whatever reason, when I was in Maryland, it was all about who you knew or, you know, to get you in. And as extensive as my resume was, I was never able to get into the school system there. Fast forward five, six years, I'm in Florida. Um, so I applied for multiple positions in the school system here in um, Florida, in Lee County, where I live. And... Um, because of my experience in Maryland, um, I was just like, you know, I don't know. I'm just going to try and see if I get in here in Florida. But I also applied for um, multiple jobs. Um, this comes after working from home for a couple of months, um, almost a year, really. Um, and, you know, for whatever reason, that just wasn't taking off from me. I have not given up on that possibility of working from home, but when the pandemic hit, everybody was working from home. The job that I had that was um, with the old company that I was with, um, it was just too much micromanagement and a lot of other things going on with that, and I just didn't stick with that job. So I ended up doing a lot of call center jobs um, with like live ops, um, next rep, and so forth. Um, and you know I could do those jobs but the expectations that they had for you in these type of jobs was just really kind of unrealistic I, I'm not the type of person that likes to be micromanaged and with these companies like um, next rep and live ops um, they really micromanage you and there's a lot of different components that go in to those particular type of jobs and I'm going to do another I'm going to do a video about all that too um, try not to get off topic but um, so I was doing those type of jobs after I um, left uh, the job that I was working um, where I was working from home and um, I left that job because my son needed a lot of attention um, he was readjusting to some things and I needed to focus on him. I found myself constantly yelling at him to be quiet while I was on the phone because I had to make phone calls and I just did not want to have that type of vibe going on, especially when he was transitioning and just going through some things. So I decided to let the job go. And like I said, I went in, I got um, live ops, next rep, because you can make your own schedule um, and pretty much work however you wanted to work. But like I said, that really wasn't working for me. Um, so I started looking for uh, brick and mortar jobs where I would actually have to go into some place. Um, uh, with that way, I knew I would be bringing, bringing more money and have a little bit more stability. So like I said, I applied for the school system um, just on a whim, just hoping that you know you never know. Um, and then I applied for some other jobs. So, um, I got a call back from a particular company, um, very good company, um, but I just really wasn't feeling it and I knew my heart wasn't in it, but I took the job because I needed the money. I was running low on my savings, my last couple of checks was coming in from those other two jobs that I was doing and um, I really needed the money. I was really running low. By the grace of God, I made it through everything. And I cannot be 
more thankful because he oh I mean man don't get me starting to praise because he comes through every single time every single time I need him he's right there regardless of whatever you believe in whatever spiritual or religious faith you have my higher power always comes through for me um, so yeah I took this job I got hired with the company um, the first company I got hired with them and I didn't start right away um, and I when I was about to start that first day I got the call from the school system saying they wanted to have an interview with me on um, a Tuesday so I started my job with the company on that Monday went to my interview on that Tuesday on that Wednesday they asked if I can come in to meet with the principal um, because the vice principal when I met with him just raved about me it was it was awesome I mean I nailed that interview I it was just so fluent and so easy so she wanted to meet me the principal so I came in on that um, Wednesday to meet with the principal it was the principal and the principal's uh, secretary he loved me I loved him um, and I know that he had a lot of influence also on me getting the position um, so it was that second interview was awesome she talked to me about the benefits what to expect if I was hired or offered the position um, and that's always a good sign um, so uh, after that I went back to work at the first job that I got um, then they started making the phone calls um, can you go get this done can you go get this done can you go get this done they still haven't offered me the position but they wanted me to get like blood work um, drug tests done and all this other stuff done and I already knew in the back of my mind like you know when you have that feeling that you know when you have that feeling that you're going to get the job I knew like in my heart of hearts that I already had the job um, so um, it was just a matter of me just waiting it out so by that next week um, he was like, can you get your um, physical done? So all the long, I'm still with this first job and still going to work like normal. Um, so by that Thursday of, no, but that Wednesday of the next week, um, they were like, yo, you know, we're ready to um, get you hired. We're going to send you to orientation if you accept and, and so forth. Of course, I accept it. So that Thursday, I sent an email to my first the job that I was doing and just basically put in my resignation pretty much after only really being there uh, about a week and a half. As far as I know, like you know, like I always say, you only live once and you have to live this life for you and what's in your best interest and then my best interest was um, working for the school system um, so if you're ever you know faced with this particular conflict um, and the advice that I would give to you is um, definitely definitely weigh your pros and cons um, what job did you really want why do you really want that job over the job that you currently were offered um, it's never an easy decision to, oh, maybe for some it is, but it's never really easy, especially in my case, I felt so awkward, like, man, I just got this job, man, you know, I was thankful for that job. But in hindsight, looking back on everything, it was all according to his plan, what he was having mapped out for me. I worked for that job for about a week and a half. I put in my notice, I started working that um, Friday of that following week and the way the school system is set up you get paid on the 15th and you get paid on the 30th twice a month always the 15th always the 30th so how everything was lining up when I got my first paycheck from the job that I was my first and last paycheck from the job that I initially took it lined up perfectly with me not even missing a beat with my pay and I got paid with them and when I took the new job and I worked like two days during that their pay period before it ended and I got paid my 
I guess it would be like seven, seven or eight days with the initial company, then the two days with this, um, with the school system, which gave me 40 hours. Um, so I had a full check and I was able to just keep going. I like, I truly didn't miss a beat. Things were a little tight, but for the most part, I was able to provide, keep a roof over my head, pay my bills, keep my utilities on. I, I didn't even miss a beat. So if you weigh your pros and cons and you realize that the the job that you really want comes through, I say go for it. Um, I work, like I said, for the school system. I work 10 months, 10 or 11 months, which means I get my summers off. I get all the holidays off with my son. So I don't have to worry about how am I going to get daycare and so forth and all that other stuff. And the job is lush. Like, it is no stress. They have little spurts of hectic moments but for the most part the, the job is chill i like everybody that i work with my supervisors my superiors are phenomenal um i gotta give a shout out to the people who did my references for this job because they had my back 100 percent. they gave me such a wonderful um reference to my principal who did my references um and these are my folks back in maryland and it was actually one one of my friends here in florida too that when I was at the first real job that I had here, um, we became friends and she gave me a great um, reference too. So I'm so thankful for all of them. If they ever see this video, they know who they are. I'm not going to say names because I don't want to put anybody out there like that, but they know who they are and I'm so, so thankful as always. Um, so if you take anything away from this video, um, you have to live your life to the fullest of what makes you happy and what is in the best interest of you. Um, yet things may be awkward or you may not, you know, feel like you're, you know, you're, you know, hurting someone else, but you have to think of yourself. If you're not happy and you're always, um, giving, giving, giving without receiving or doing what is best for you, um, that's no way to live and you can burn yourself out really, really quick. And when you're old and gray, you're sitting back thinking over your life, you're going to have so many regrets. And although it was very awkward for me to put in my notice, it is what it is. Um, but I'm so happy with the choice that I made. So um, always stay true to yourself. Always be authentically you and who you are. Always strive to be the best version of yourself and be happy. Um, Thank you so much guys for tuning in uh, I, I try not to ramble so much and I didn't want this video to be so long but it was a lot involved so I just wanted to make sure I got everything out about the little story that I have to tell so thank you guys for tuning in as always I appreciate you if you guys have any questions or anything like that you know hit me up in the comments um, I try to answer or respond to everyone who you know uh, sends me a message and um, like I said with this channel I'm trying to be authentic you know whatever comes to my heart and my mind that I you know want to talk about that's what I'll do um, and my subscribers thank you um, the 56 that I have I'm slowly creeping up there and I'm so thankful for all of you all um, you know I would love for this channel to really really take off I know I have to do more content and I'm I'm just not trying to put stuff out there just to be putting stuff out there I really wanted to have meaning and um, just be talking about something just not just talking to be for the sake of talking I really want to put things out there that you could possibly relate to like this video you know um, so thank you all for just watching my videos hanging out just trying to see what the crazy lady is did who shaved her head as you can see my hair is growing back very very nicely um, I can't wait to do a one-year update video on the progress of that I've been taking pictures and shooting little snippets of my hair growth process but this is where I am right now the unofficial update of my big chop uh, about almost a month or two ago um, so again thank you and be blessed <laughs>